There is this cute animal with the face of a squirrel, the body of a duck, got webs, huge tail, it's beaver. If you say it's a cat in river, then his walking figure is so no cool. If you say it's a smart mouse, it usually gets smashed by his own trees. If you say it's stupid, it's the finest Science Academy symbol. Why do they love it? Let's see. In 1954, New York was drought, no more water in forests. In Bear Mountain Park, where was the most severe? The rivers there cracked. But they found there was this district was so green and so many plants, wetter than usual. Why? Please watch our video today. Scientists found that it was not because the underground water, not the plants either, but beavers. Before human beings, the whole North America, Europe, Xinjiang, Mongolia, were all wet. There were beaver dams all around. They're like squirrel, their teeth growing like in forever. So to maintain their growing teeth, then need to chew something. The squirrel chooses pine nuts, while the beaver chooses the trees. They hew trees all the time, anywhere, after they cut it down, they drag it to build a dam, and they build themselves a small home. It got good ventilation, and it could save foods. The entrance is under the water, so dive in is the only way. It could help them escape from natural enemies, very impressive. To build a dam and a home, a beaver usually needs more than a hundred trees. One hundred? How? Are their teeth made from steel? We could tell that they got red teeth, Almost every animal got white teeth, because we got a shell outside the teeth MG, which is colorless. So at the beginning, it was no color. Then there's more and more Ka, so we could see the yellow below it. But the beaver is not like this. They choose Fi to build the shell, which is red. So their teeth are really made from Fe. They resist acid, better than Ming. So they never worried about ill teeth. The acid that the bacteria produces never harm them. One more thing, chewing trees, forests, isn't it ruining our environment? Why it helped the park resist the drought? Well, that's about the wetlands. After they built the dam, there will be this small wetland, thought there will be no more trees. It proved as homes to many animals. In America, the wetlands is only 2% of all lands, and it proved home to 80% animals and they bring the variability, so the environment is now varied. When disasters come, it holds on, so beavers are earth engineers indeed. For 20 million years, they were repairing our mother earth. In 1904, there was another drought in New York. The scientists brought 20 beavers from Canada, put them in Bear Mountain Park. In 1948, they did the same thing in the west of the US. Just after World War II, there were so many parachutes and boxes, so they used them to put the beaver in the West. From 1948 to 1998, there were at least 3,000 places were turned into villages by beavers. In 1973, the ambassador in Mongolia imported hundreds of beavers from Canada, put them into the rivers. But nothing happened. Because there are three kinds of beavers. America, Europe, Mongolia. America beaver was shocked when it got in Mongolia, so in 2012, they imported 14 Europe beavers from Germany, put them around the capital city. Last March, a Xinjiang media reported that it was the second time they took a picture of beaver since 100 years ago along the Ulun, five of them, maybe a family. They were eating on the ice as a table for six hours. That's the Mongolia one, first grade national wildlife. They're the national precious wildlife of Canada as well. Now they live a free life out there, showering along the river, looking at the people passing by. They've lived here on this blue planet freely for 20 million years. But a hundred years ago, they nearly extincted. The story goes like this. Back in 1214, Mongolia invaded Poland and the European were in loss they couldn't win Mongolians. The rain was pouring. 
all those soldiers in Europe were prepared to fight the Mongolians in Silesia. The river web was complex and they hoped the swamps would stop them. They hoped the rain would cover their sight. Even though they were affected as well, but no more wasting time, they gotta go. Flesh war, no regret. In this sad rainy day, Mongolians invaded the Europeans in a sudden. And Europeans found out in surprise that the rainy day never stops Mongolians, and they arrived ten days earlier than they thought. But the Europeans couldn't see anything, while the Mongolians aimed them precisely. Years later, they figured it out. They used beavers. Before we could make clothes, Mongolians and Sinkiangs knew already how to use animals' skin and soap water to produce felt. And they used beaver peel. They found it was natural water resistance. If you add some on your roof, that will be waterproof. And with a beaver at, you could shoot in a rainy day. So later on, they worshipped it like a god. And in Europe, there were countless beavers. The hat of Napoleon was beaver peel 500 years ago, including gentlemen from German, the adventurers, Holmes. Well, with such need, the Europe beaver extincted soon. In 1670, the Minister of Royal Navy of Britain, he complained in his diary that his new beaver hat was so expensive, and he even decided to give it to his later generations. That's crazy. He was a minister royal, he was rich. That was no more a hat, but more like a mention. They were crazy, but they didn't get so many beavers there in Europe. No worries because Columbus was about to discover the America. They got so many beavers, the Indians didn't know that they could be made into felt. They mainly ate them or used them to see things, and the Yati them in a luxurious way, they only ate that flesh tail, because they believed it was great for man in a sexual way. This year, the U.S. sent an expedition across the U.S. to Pacific Ocean find salmon. There must be lots of beavers. If there was no beavers, there was no fishes. Why? Back then, no one knew about ecosystem, but the president knew that they have to protect the beavers because they needed the money from exporting beaver and salmons. So the America beavers were saved, and they were saved from extinction. In 1930s, the bionomics was discovered. They realized that if they don't want New York turn into desert, they got to protect the beavers. Then they became the symbol wildlife in Canada, and they were printed on money. The scientists began to research. First, they build dams from instinct, or they learned it from parents. Easy one. In 2020, a lady saved a beaver from outside, and she kept it as a pet. She named it Bieber. Months later, it grew up, and it began to build dams in his home. Shoes, blankets, towels, toys, plastic bags, hockey sticks, even jars. They were used to build a dam. Every day it showers four to five times. It eats carrots and corns. It chew the blanket while it is sleeping like a baby. But sometime it took the wooden furniture as a tree. So it broke a few furniture walls and wooden doors, even tables, which costs $500, $600. Then she built a park for it in the garden. Why do they build dams? Like capybaras, they are huge mice who eat grass. The capybara is the biggest mouse that whose shit is the delicious food for most animals, so most animals get along with it. And the beaver is the second one. It's different, they don't play around in daytime like capybaras, so they're like other mice, or lay around at nighttime, but it only eats grass. Where to find? So they evolved with building dams. They used dams to hold the river and create wetlands, so the grass would be more and more, and they could eat the grass, and they cut down trees. They eat the sugar under the tree peels, and they could use trees to build dams as well. The biggest beaver dam is in Wood Buffalo National Park. It was 850 millimeters long, the only architecture that could be seen from cosmic that was not human-made. Scientists said the dam was built from 1975 and was managed by several beaver families, and it was not finished till now. Maybe in 2075 they would build it into a huge dam. And scientists knew that beaver is not only engineer but also good at renting. They don't rest in winter, so they build lots of homes and park. In winter, they rent them out, and they charge for foods. Before human was here, 
there were at least 500 million beavers, and there was this extincted huge beaver, like a bear, 400-500 pd. We got a teeth from it, which was 20 centimeter long. Another one, we almost regarded it as an alien. In 1890s, there were so many vortex stones in the U.S., and no one could explain. Someone called it an evil canner, and they believed it was the alien civilization. Well, it was from ancient beavers. Not like ones now. They built homes underground. The homes were filled up with mud, so we got the stones now. Someone said, without them, North America would be desert after ice era. How do they do it? Funny, they choose some big trees, and just a half, then they take advantage of the wind. Because they can't control the wind, so sometimes they would be smashed by the trees. After that, they would choose some small ones and connect them with the bigger ones. Very precisely, more and more, the river was shut, the mud would filled it up, and then they pick up stones to harsh it. Then is the mud grass and so on, they paint them on the dam, let them grow so the dam would be stronger. With a family, they work at night, no sound, and one day you'll find that there was this miracle of nature. Then they maintain the dams when they hear the water sound, they come and repire it. These dams change the America and the earth like engineers. They're maintaining the earth, they protect the ecosystem, that's enough for today. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next video.